What's going on you guys, it's the Motorcycle Boss and in this video we're gonna be talking about the best screwdrivers that you've never heard of. Subscribers, welcome back. And if you're new here, my channel is based all around motorcycle maintenance and saving money. So if you like either of those two, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you think about it, the worst thing that can happen is if you watch one of my videos, you might learn something that can save you some money. So with that being said, let's get started. So what I'm gonna be going over in this video is gonna be over screwdrivers, specifically the JIS screwdriver. This is called the Japanese Industrial Standard Screwdriver. So the difference between this and a Phillips screwdriver like I have over here is that this is designed not to cam out like a normal Phillips screwdriver does when you put the screwdriver in and you twist and it gets a little bit tight, it likes to back itself out. These will not do that. It actually, the Phillips is actually designed specifically to do that. It's not like it's like uh, on accident or anything. They're actually made to do that. The Phillips was actually designed for a air, what was it aluminum aircraft builders. And it was designed for them so that way when they were assembling an aircraft, it would cam out when it, once it reached a certain torque so that way they wouldn't strip the aluminum threads that were inside of it. So that transferred to the consumer market and now we're left with these Phillips screwdrivers and the Phillips screw heads that like to just back us out when we're trying to tighten something down. The JIS screwdriver is known as the Japanese Industrial Standard Screwdriver. Both of these are JIS screwdrivers, just uh, slightly different sizes. So with JIS, they actually made a little bit of uh, difference when it comes to the tip, where when once you put it in, it actually locks and doesn't want to let go, it does not cam out. This can be used on regular Phillips head screws as well as JIS industrial standard screws. So I actually have a screw head that'll actually indicate which is a Japanese industrial standard. I'll actually pull that up on the screen for you right now. It's got a little dimple on the side and that's what indicates if the screw is actually designed for the JIS screwdriver. The good thing is that JIS screwdrivers can actually be used in Phillips, but not the other way around. If you use a Phillips, head, a Phillips screwdriver in a JIS screw, you can easily strip out the screw head. Now, with that being said, the good thing about using the JIS screwdrivers is you can use them on pretty much anything. A lot of times you'll see them being spoken about when it comes to motorcycles, because motorcycles, a lot of them are made in Japan, so those will kind of transfer over. But these are actually good to replace your screwdrivers outright for the most part, because it can be used on cars, it can be used on motorcycles, pretty much anything that uses a Phillips head screwdriver. The JIS screw, screwdrivers will actually uh, do the same job better. So there's a channel called Never Stop Building LLC. They actually, he actually posted a video showing the difference between the two as far as how much better the JIS is. And there's a really good visual representation that he is allowing me to show on my channel. I couldn't have thought of a better way to show the difference between the two. So go ahead and check that out real quick. If I take a normal number two Phillips head, try to turn this fastener, just gonna turn it, it's, it's about pushed in. I'm not pushing any force, you see how it moves the car, and I'm just gonna twist it, rounds right out. But with the JIS fastener, uh, JIS screwdriver, push it in, same pressure. And yeah, look, it lifts, right the, lifts the carbs right up. So as you can see, it's really, really cool to have these. They make a, they, they make a world of difference, keep you from stripping out screw heads. But they're out, they are actually pretty inexpen inexpensive. I'll post a link to pick up these, and these are made by Vessel. Vessel is one of the oldest Japanese screwdriver manufacturers that's you know been around. They uh, make high quality, high quality screwdrivers. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'll try and get it close for you. But they have this nice knurling right here, so that way once it's in, you can twist that with your fingers. They grip onto the screw really well. And the cool thing about this is that this is called the Impacta series that they have. Now, oh, let me see if I can show you guys. The Impacta. This actually has a mechanism inside 
that when you, you actually use it as an impact screwdriver as well. So you have this metal bit on the back and once you get a really stubborn uh, screw, you can put that in, hit it with a hammer and there's a little cam mechanism inside that will actually rotate counterclockwise 12 degrees every time it's hit. So while under load, it will back that screw out under load. So if you get a really stubborn screw, throw that on, hit it with a hammer a few times and you should be able to back that out. And you can get this in a few different sizes. So go ahead and take a look at the links that I have and pick, your, pick yourself up one. Trust me, you guys are gonna be really happy you did when the time comes and you don't strip out a Phillips head screw. So been a pleasure, you guys. It's been fun making this video. I hope I was able to teach you guys something. And if there's anything else I can do for you, please put it in the comments. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.